Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to go through how to use Stable Cascade for image to image and clip vision. As previous video, we have talked about the workflow for text to image, and now we are based on that workflow and make it as the image to image. And also there's a built-in clip visions features in Stable Cascade that we can use in the Stage C models and just use the built-in clip visions act as an IP adapter. So let's get started with image to image first. So right here, I have the workflow that is based on the text to image one. And what we have is a stable cascade stage C VAE encode. Just like stable diffusion, we have VAE encode for load image. You can see we have here just a generate image using my reference image. So basically, this is very similar to the previous tutorial about stable cascade text to image. And right now, I'm just trying with the denoise. So lower the denoising strength to 0.35 and you have the similar image from a source image. And right here, I have my image from my previous tutorial, which is this one, and I'm using this one and give it a try. So this is from Stable Cascade Image. And let's try it with 0.4 denoise and add some prompts for realism and we can try it out in here. Actually, it's pretty fast in this workflow. I'm running image to image and it doesn't load too long. And there you go. We have very similar face and the styles of the image are based on my reference image. And also I have tried that it is compatible with upscaler with models. So let's say I use the face upscaler and I can sharpening the face. Actually, I forgot to mention, if you missed the previous part about stable cascade text to image, you can go back and check it out. There are details explain how to use stable cascade in different sampling stages and models download for comfy UI. Yeah, as you can see. And then also I have another one in here which is clip visions and using clip visions to act as like IP adapter. Very similar concept like IP adapter. So I have two clip visions here. You can mix multiple image as your reference image for your new generate AI image styles, just like how we use in stable diffusions IP adapter. And right here we have the UN clip conditioning and then connect with our text prom conditioning here. And then if you have more clip visions image, then you have to connect more other clip conditioning notes here. And then in the previous part, we have the clip visions in code, and that will be connect to our load image. Note that is for our reference image. Remember to connect these nodes like this, but then it's pretty easy. All input and output from nodes are very clear labeled. Then there you go. You have two image here that I've been using and this is the output of that image. It looks pretty cool that we have two person with the reference image clothing styles. And then let's generate one more time and see. So we have another post, the background, everything very similar to the upper reference image. Here we have the coffee shop and then the golden dress from our lower part, that image. So there you go. We can using Stable Cascade to just have a built-in IP adapter like features in Stable Cascade. And that is a very cool stuff. So I hope you guys get inspirations and this is really easy to use in Stable Cascade. In ComfyUI, just install two of their Stable Cascade models, Stage C and Stage B. Then you can run that with no problem. So I hope they will be released more new updates about stable cascade like control net. If they have Laura supporting, if they can do other extensions based on stable cascade. So look, uh, looking forward to that. So I will talk to you soon in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.